Arr, a feisty one you be. Ah, why are you here? I need me your crew, you lover of the land. Now snap to. You say you got scallywags that can heave ho and jib jab. This is be true. Yeah, yeah, we have people for employment. Arr, make sure this place be ship shape, or for sure you'll be wide the plank. We don't actually have a plank. Hey, the swab in the poop deck. Alright everybody, welcome to the morning routine. Happy Monday. It is October the 10th. We are cruising into October, this amazing, amazing month of Halloween, which is great. And we just saw a pirate with a pirate themed idea. Apparently he's looking for a crew <laughs> to man his haunted ship. This is sounding very much like the Pirates of the Caribbean, which are great movies, by the way. Maybe we'll see something like that on Friday. But, yes, we're going to have a pirate-themed week this week. So, army mateys, get ready for plundering and stuff that's pirate-related. Yeah, but Friday, Wednesday, Wednesday, we will have our pirate-themed job fair, mock job fair. So, have your interview skills ready to go be dressed to impress a pirate no no pirate costumes this is very very serious and pirates take their stuff very seriously they really you know they're very concerned about a few things presentation it's all about presentation and how they look so you must look like you're ready and willing and able to serve apparently a pirate crew so that'll be wednesday more details to come on that but all week long we'll be talking about pirate stuff and relating it to everything else and just having fun with pirate employment pirate lifestyle pirate pirating you know you you, you, you go out and you plunder you know you, you get some loot which is kind of like going to work getting some money and then you got to use that loot to money to buy things do things you know sometimes you got to upgrade your peg leg maybe your first peg leg was just a twig and kept breaking and you really need to upgrade to a more fancy and sturdy peg leg you know not the fancy real fancy one with like the gold plating and stuff like that but maybe you just need a peg leg that's just wooden solid not gonna break all the time right or maybe a new eye patch your first eye patch the string kept breaking now you need a new one and you know maybe you want the little skull and crossbones on it who knows but you got to go do some work to uh save up a little bit to buy that stuff so lots of cool fun stuff we'll do all week long all right so we're going to have a great fun week it's going to be all kinds of cool piratey piratey stuff which is going to be awesome but we got to get off to a positive start so let's check in with josh with another positive quote Hello, Josh Asbill, back with a positive quote. Today's positive quote, it's not the yields in your life, it's the life in your yields that counts. Stay upbeat, stay positive, it will make you happy. All right, thank you for that, Josh. Yes, pirates have to stay positive. They got, you know, sinking ships. They've got, you know, people after them. They got to hide their treasure. They got all kinds of stuff they got to worry about. So they got to do some things to be positive. I don't know specifically what pirates do to be positive. Who knows? But, you know, we do positive quotes. Maybe there's some pirate, positive pirate quotes out there somewhere. Who knows? That'd be kind of cool. But before we do that... Before we find out about all that kind of cool stuff, let's go uh, back in the bearded pirate past with Zach. I don't know. We'll see what he's got. Back in the past with Zach, right here. 
It's Monday, October 10th. Uh, sorry about Wednesdays, guys. Some jerk werewolf took over my uh, my time frame there. So it's what it is. You know, we got to deal with those kinds of guys sometimes. But uh, hey, let's go back, back in the bearded, bearded past, past with Zach. Zach. Let's get back. Last time we left off on the video game timeline, we were just hitting the Sony. We were hitting the, the you know, the adults were starting to... Basically, it was the games were being, you know, pushed out there for adults. Uh, basically, creating a new market of game players. It wasn't just about us kids. And plus, us kids who grew up playing video games, you know, they just kept getting better, right? So, as they say, the PlayStation changed everything. It's 3D textures, the polygons, you know, plus they had the CDs going. I mean, that console went on to sell over 100 million units. Eventually, of course, they'll be in phased out by the PlayStation 2 in 2000. Of course, then the PlayStation 3 in 2006, and the PlayStation 4 in 2013, and now, of course, the, 2000, uh, the PlayStation 5. So, in 1999, the dawn of online gaming, okay, this was actually uh, something that was very much just getting ready to start. It didn't take off yet, but it started. Sega after a series of failed products. So, so, so if you guys remember, after the Sega Genesis came out, we had the Sega CD and the Sega Saturn. And it released, um, you know, both actually had some really good games on those, uh, but they just didn't hit. So then Sega went all in and they put out the Dreamcast, all right? The Dreamcast was actually ready to go online. It was set up to go onto Windows 95. It was ahead of its time, and it bankrupt Sega. Uh, it did not hit the way they thought it was going to hit the market at the time. But it did allow it did allow for the online gameplay. So it started that. So here we are now jumping into the mainstream of gaming. 2001, Microsoft jumps in. Um, we all know Microsoft. They end up putting out the Xbox, all right? It launched its own console, the Xbox. The original Xbox was a great machine. It uh, upped the ante in the console wars. You know, it really pushed out. I mean, it pushed out Sega, basically. It pitted Microsoft against Star Wars, Nintendo, and Sony. And so... The Xbox also brought us one of the most popular game franchises this time in, in history, Halo. And so a lot of us, a lot of you guys, a lot of us, we played the Halo games. It really got us, you know, it reinvented the shooter game, Halo did. And it popularized the online multiplayer gameplay that two years earlier, the Dreamcast was trying to get us all on, guys. So, you know, as it continued, the Xbox became a juggernaut. We've got more coming up as we go down this road of history, timeline, and gaming, guys. Take care. Have a great Monday. Go play some games. All right. Very good. Maybe not so piratey, but that's okay. The steampunk dude. It's got me a little creeped out. It's got that little Kimberlina doll thing creeping around the building and whatnot. It's very, very... I don't know. Steampunk dude's weird. He's got that long crinkly nose i don't know if he's half witch or half dude i don't know what's going on right there but uh he did send in another video so uh let's see what he's got for us today hopefully there's no creepy doll thing around me or nothing like that I just don't understand. I think you just scared them, which by the way, you were doing a very good job. And all I hear is clapping and cheering and chanting for Carl. Ugh. Gosh, that name is so annoying. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I just don't get it. You're doing a good job. You're goofing around, moving things, you're showing up on cameras. Kimberlina, you are doing an excellent job of being evil. I just don't understand. What do you think about that? So, Kimberlina, you are doing a good job. You need to step up your game, though. Okay? So you need to do it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, sorry. I forgot you looked like that. Go do your work. Go. Go. And I'm going to take a nap.
Oh my gosh. Man. That creepy doll thing. Clayton better look out. I mean, and the and the spider? Do we need to have the spider? That's just this is just really starting to creep me out a little bit. And the name, Kimberlina. Why did, that name seems oddly familiar? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, haven't seen anything myself, hadn't heard any weird stuff myself. Sometimes I'm here after hours or early in the morning and you know, there's no one here but me and my see nothing so i ain't say nothing but anyway all right let's check out the nation today right here morning everybody here we are on a monday yes a monday and it's i keep saying it to myself 1010 sounds like the 1010 building huh but it is october the 10th 10th month 10th day and the national day is there wasn't anything really exciting although i think this is kind of exciting because i love these things but it's national handbag day a handbag you know a purse they make ladies purses man men purses i'm not carrying a purse it's not a purse it's european oh. <laughs> nice carry-all it's european do you still have my lipstick? Uh, yeah, I think I do. I can never find anything in here. More of a slingy kind of thing sometimes, but I love a purse. I got lots of them. Lots of them in the, I have them in boxes in my, uh, closet. Yes. And they're see-through so I can see them. But then I keep them there because, you know, I gotta swap out for a purse every once in a while. And then I can't help myself when I go shopping to an outlet and I see a nice Kate Spade or a Michael Kors or a coach purse and when I come back home from shopping my husband says and how many purses did you purchase this time I love it when I get to come home and not purchase a purse and I feel real proud of myself because I didn't buy a purse and then he'll go huh, how many pairs of shoes did you buy instead well you know I can't wear them all right gosh I'll have to find out what day national shoe day is mm, I got lots of those too most of them I can't wear here because they got a heel on them. But I wear them other places. But, you know, everybody's got their thing. I like purses amongst a lot of other things. And if you don't carry a purse but you got a backpack, you consider that your purse because you carry all your uh, treasures in. Yes, treasures. We keep all of our treasures in those things. You never know what you might need. I was somewhere one time and a person looked at me and they go, you were at a party or something. They go, hmm, boy, the corkscrew or to get the cork out of the bottle of wine had broke. I had one of those in my purse. On my key ring, I've got a thing to open bottles. Boy's got a sewing kit. I've got lots of treasures in my purse. So, purses are important. So now I see why there's a national day for purses, right? So, y'all don't have a purse, y'all go get yourself a purse so you can keep all your treasures in it on National Purse Day. Very cool. All right, so we've gone through everything. It is Monday, October 10th. We are cruising into October and the Halloween season. It's still kind of warm outside, which is eh, during the day, but the nights are cooling off, so that's awesome. You're opening up your window, not having to run the AC so much, not having to run the heater yet, so we're saving a little bit right there. That's pretty cool. Energy and dollars. So uh, it is Monday, Monday, 1 o'clock, Facebook Live. We'll have uh, some positivity or something related to pirate cool stuff to get our week kicked off for us other than that have a great monday everybody we'll have an awesome week got some guests coming up to talk about employment and jobs and stuff and this and jokes and all kinds of stuff so we got a cool week for you pirate themed week enjoy the day enjoy your monday we'll see you tomorrow tuesday on the morning routine take care everybody oh i guess i need to throw the card huh Jeez, what is the deal with these cards it's like they are curvy curvy too much in one direction. Here we go, ready?